dude, I'm not getting enough views. No one is watching my show and my life sucks. Did I hear you say you're not getting enough views on your Facebook live stream? Duh, is there an echo? I'm doing the best I can. I'm shredding some gnarly waves, photographing myself at the beach, doing some cool stuff, and nobody is coming. I understand your problem, my son, and you know what you need? Syndication. Un, un, un. Send a what? Is that like Cindy Lauper's brother? Ha, no, 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 no. Syndication. Syndication gives you the power of reaching audiences all over the world. And you can syndicate your Facebook live show to grow your audience and grow your business. Today, you're going to want to stay tuned because we're going to show you how only on Be Live Weekly. Where entrepreneurs get the latest tips, tricks, and tactics for Facebook live streaming. Join us live every Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or type 5 into the comments now to subscribe to the show. Now your host, Owen Dio. Welcome back to Be Live Weekly, the only show on Facebook helping you to grow your Facebook live show. I'm Owen Video, your live stream growth coach, and you can give me five. That's right. Just type five in the comment section now if you're watching on Facebook and become a part of the Be Live Weekly community. Just type five. You can type the number or the letter five and become a part of our inner circle community. Community. We're super excited for our guest today, Bonnie Brudera. But before we bring Bonnie on to talk about how you can syndicate your Facebook live show, I want to give a big shout out to my alter ego, my guest host, my good friend, Jason Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jason. Whoa, Whoa thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. It's great, great to be here, man. This is awesome. awesome. Yeah, great to have you. Love uh, love your, your help in, in getting – you know, kind of just doing some fun things. Uh, did you just have a green screen up a second ago? No, no way, man. That was uh, pre-recorded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can tell when he lies, folks, because his lips move. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a strategy. You got to watch for it. You got to watch for it. Hey, if you're just logging in on Facebook Live, tell us where you're logging in from. And what the weather is like over there. I'm out here in uh, beautiful, sunny California. And I'll tell you, it couldn't be any nicer right about now. The heat has gone down. How is it where, you are, where you're at, Jason? Oh, it's pretty warm, uh, especially with a wig and a, two shirts on and a green screen behind me. Uh, I'm sweating like a it's, – it's like it's 80-something in here. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, uh, you know, I, where, where are you logging in from, guys, uh, watching us out there on – Facebook, uh, Rigor is saying I'm logging in from my computer. Wow. <laughs> what? Well, that's amazing. And I, uh, <laughs> oh, you're in trouble. When you see him in real life, he is gonna, he's gonna karate chop you on that one. K. Vellant is saying greetings. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Grace uh, is saying uh, greetings from sweltering Southern Florida. Uh, Who else do we have out there? Who's out there? Jason uh, Jack's the producer. Desiree is saying Las Vegas. It's like a hundred degrees, dude. Our car went out in Las Vegas and it was gnarly. It was gnarly driving through Las Vegas. Who else is out there? Stacy DePaulo. Good to see you. She's uh, logging in from Hong Kong, where there's a monsoon happening right now. Wow, wow. That's, that's far. Who else we got? We got Rigor logging in from his computer. Hilarious, hilarious, Rigor. <laughs> we can. Uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, in Dallas, Texas, Graham Hoffman logging in is saying London and it's cold. Is it winter time in London? Hmm. Uh, why is it so cold? We got a lot of people logging in today. Great. Who else we got out there, Jason? Yeah, we got. Uh, let's see. We've got Randall Chestnut coming in from Houston, Texas. Read what's on yeah. the screen. What's that? Oh, I can't put it on the screen. I I, I don't have control. Yeah, I got screen. It's Watch. on my screen. Jason, put it back up. You put up. Uh, Dan Norton, right? You don't see that? Oh, York, not sure. There's no windows in my office. They got us in a cave. <laughs> That's awful, Dan. Such is the life, though. Such is the life. You can't see those comments, Jason? Me? I can, Now I can, yes. Yamini Hall or Yamini Yamina Hall, Texas. It's freaking yeah. hot. 94 degrees. I'm looking at the other comments ahead of time because we've got ladies go live and they're 
Good evening from Ireland. Look Brian. at that. Ireland. Good evening. Top of the morning to you in Ireland. I can't do one of those. I would if I could. Teresa Ann Thomas is logging in from O-Side, Oceanside, California. There's like an O-Side. Like when you say O-Side, you got to be like, you got to like throw it up. Be like O-Side. Do you do like gang signs and stuff? Is it like everything's A-OK and O-Side? If there's a murder in North County, it probably happened in Oceanside, California, which is cool. Which Not is, bad. I don't want to hate. Uh, Shabaka uh, logging in from Charlotte. Hey, man, this wall right here was motivated uh, by my good friend Jeffrey Gittimer, who has an office in Charlotte. And uh, he had all this just awesome brick. And, uh, and that inspired my brick wall. So glad to have you here. Uh, we've got Randall Chestnut logging in from Houston, Texas. Great to have you, Randall. Great to have you, Jim Beach. Leroy Dixon from Alabama, sir. Uh, oh, in. hee-haw. Kalina. That's Texas. But. It is. No, it is. It's close. Close. <laughs> Oh, it's uh, down there. You'll get it. You'll get it. Just keep just keep trying. <laughs> uh, guys, we're so glad to have you here. Today, we're going to be talking about syndication, which remember watching, uh, Jason, remember watching like Flintstones when you were younger? Yeah. Or like, or like uh, uh, Gilligan's Island, and, and it would tell you that it was syndicated. This is a syndicated broadcast. Okay, kind of. I remember those words. I just have no idea what they mean. Like yeah, not even a clue. That's my point. Yeah, like what is syndication and what does it mean? Like syndication, folks, is mass distribution, and and what happens sometimes is we get platform, uh, like platform religious, right? To where it's like I want to do things on Facebook or I want to do things on YouTube. Where with syndication, uh, you're gonna get you're gonna have lots of coverage on lots of platforms. And you're able to bring new eyeballs and new audiences into your show. We're going to talk about how you can do that and what it's going to cost you and why you should be considering it immediately. So would that be something similar to like syndicating? So like HBO is on like different local uh, like cable companies. Would that be syndication? Like it's on Comcast, it's on Xfinity or you know, is that syndication? So I think that, that would be kind of like syndication. And, uh, you know, like when you watch, um, when you watch something like Dan Norton, five, four plus one is five. I was just answering the comment. Dan Norton, Carolyn, psh, guys are subscribing to the show. Remember, if you type five into the comment section, it will subscribe you to the show. Tina K. Valant is saying Cinco. Babe, we need to put the word Cinco in the chat bot so that uh, we, uh, we make sure to capture all of this. Shabaka, a man, is saying Jay Gittimer is one of the greats. Uh, absolutely. Oh, and, and Jason put up what he, what he wrote here. He wrote, he wrote omnipresence, omnipresence, the ability to be everywhere at once. And that's what syndication Ooh. is. Um, that's like matrix stuff right there. That is like, you know, that's right. And before we bring our guest on, I want to introduce you guys. I want to, I want to invite you to participate in my upcoming webinar called launch your life. Jason, can we put the lower third up? He's not talking to me, everyone. It's the other Jason behind the black room. Jacks. I got to start saying Jax. Hey, I want to invite you guys to attend my webinar today at the videospot.net slash launch. You can go to that link right now. Click on the blue button to register. We are going to be doing a webinar that will finally help you to launch your live stream and get it out of your head and get it on to the internet. I'm going to show you how to create a live stream show template. But you always know what to say. I'm going to show you how to make cool sound effects like this. That was cool. Right? I can do like outros. Right? Stuff like this sounds pretty cool. Mm. Uh, I'm showing you how to make your shows sound better and look better. And you can register for my webinar right now for free at thevideospot.net slash launch. I don't even need you an email or anything like it. You can just go to that page right there, click on the blue button. And then when we go live today for the webinar, we'll invite you via chat bot and get this. We're going to give you a replay link too. So you can watch it tomorrow if you need to, but I would recommend to join us live because we're going to be covering the three reasons uh, why live streamers don't get their show off the air and how you can create a show that will generate a huge, a huge audience. So what do you think? I'll, I'll be there. You know, you going to go, you going to come. Absolutely. I'm there. I'm already waiting there in the chat just for someone to show up with me and just hang out. <laughs> yeah, no, I love that. I, uh, I love that about you. You're always so anxious to, uh, uh, to get there. 
Stacy DePaulo is saying, uh, let us know what you say to those who say you must create platform specific content instead of syndication. Oh, I can't wait to get into this. All right, guys. So we're going to be talking about syndication today uh, and how to get your show out to millions of more people than you're reaching right now. Ask your questions in the comment section uh, where you're nice and safe because our guest today is a true, true expert and she's super fun. I really enjoyed our behind the scenes conversation. So I want to bring out Bonnie Bruderer. Bonnie founded Binge Networks, which is a multi-channel media network for creators and brands with syndication on 50 top OTT television networks. So obviously my first question is what the heck is OTT? Bonnie is a film and TV producer with over 700 television segments. She's the writer, director, producer of the documentary Influencer on the social media generation and the advertising industry. She's the guest on our show today. She's a syndication expert. Bonnie, welcome to the program. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for having me. So glad to have you here. First of all, talk to us a little bit about Binge Networks. It's a multi-channel network, OTT, you know. A lot of words. What does it mean? Yeah, let's get those defined. So multi-channel network just means a place that you go to watch a lot of different video content. So YouTube would be a multi-channel network. Um, Netflix is a multi-channel network. Hulu is a multi-channel network where you get to go on to a place, whether it's on um, your smart TV or just on your computer, and you can find multiple different types of content there. So that's multi-channel network. Um, OTT means over the top. It's a very industry term, um, but essentially to make it simple, it just means accessing video content without paying for a cable bill. So again, if you watch Netflix, if you watch Amazon Prime, you're already in the OTT, but um, it's a term that you'll hear when people are talking about smart television or set top boxes like Apple TV and Amazon Fire. Yeah, okay, so are, are, you, are you a competitor to Netflix? We are, yes. We're unique in that we have a multi-channel network and we provide syndication on 50 different smart TV or OTT outlets. Okay. So we're a bit of a hybrid. We're really doing both, um, both the front end viewing and the distribution. Okay. So, so that's fantastic, you know, and I've had a chance guys to go check out Binge Networks. It's definitely worth taking a gander. <laughs> you know, it's funny. We have, well, Tina with Ladies Go Live and Lottie, who I saw in here, they have channels on our network and also Jeffrey Ginnemar. So I was so excited on your intro. I'm like, yes, Jeffrey we're in the right place. Yeah, he's a good friend. He's going to be on my other podcast uh, later on in the month. Uh, okay. Also something that we should talk about, uh, Bonnie, is getting you on that show. So okay. let's start at Whoops. the beginning. Folks, if you have questions for Bonnie – and you have questions about syndication and how it works and what it even means, ask those questions in the comment area. We'd really love to hear from you. We, we have a question right now, Owen, coming in from Stacy DiPolo. She wants to know, let us know what you say to those who you say you must create platform-specific content instead of syndication. Curious your thoughts. Yes. Okay, so let's start with that question. Great question, Stacy. Bonnie, you understand the question? 100%, yes. So for social media platforms, absolutely, that's the best advice. You don't want to put the same content on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, because even though they might be the same people, like Jason might follow you, Stacey, on all of those places, but he's looking for something a little bit different in each one. Where syndication is different is we are taking that content that you have created, say, for Facebook using DLive. Um, you can actually take your BeLive and publish it directly to your binge channel. And we're dealing with the networks that are looking for that type of content. So our viewers are already the same type of people that are looking for that Facebook Live type content. We're just publishing it on 50 different platforms. Right. So right. hopefully that answers the question. But yeah, of course. And then you take that post and you tweak it a little bit for Twitter and you tweak it a little bit different yeah. for Instagram. So, you know, folks, if you want to, you want to, I guess what I'm hearing you say, Bonnie, is that if you're kind of uploading and re-uploading, you want to pick the piece of content that's most friendly yes. right, for syndication, which I'm guessing yes. is going to be your full, complete, long form content, something maybe like this show and not taking the meme, the, the, the 30 second version, the trailer of that. Yes. Uh, exactly. What type of format, <clears throat> what type of content? is best suited for syndication uh, with you guys? 
So a couple of different things. You want to picture your audience, right, with anything that you're ever doing. And our audience tend to be what, oh, I love that, down with OTT. Um, our audience tend to be the lean back audience. So people are watching this content in their home. They're on their Apple TV. They're on their Roku. So they're okay with long form content. They're okay with shows that are, you know, anywhere from 15 minutes onwards up to an hour. Um, so B Live shows are great. Um, we have actually a software um, compliments of Hani Mora, who I saw was, he gave a shout out here um, from Repurpose.io that will actually take your Be Live and publish it directly to Binge out to all 50 platforms. So that works great with podcasts, it works with video shows like this. Um, and really, it's just value rich content. You know, there's an audience for everything, and we're dealing with 50 different media networks that some have hundreds of millions of subscribers. So really, if you make sure you're creating great quality content, there's going to be viewers that want to see it. So is Binge Network serving, you said a lean back audience, you know, are, are they, and what I saw on there was like a coach. I was on your Instagram and I saw a yeah. coach. Would you say that this is a great place for business friendly content or is this going to be like YouTube where, where business friendly content works on YouTube, but what's really successful is you know, uh, a clown getting kicked in the hoo-ha by a couple of teenagers. You know, cojones. So, yeah. Cojones, Owen. Cojones. Cojones, I think it's the scientific, the scientific term, yeah. Yeah, uh, a clown getting kicked is just funny, no matter how you slice it. Um, we're, we work... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's just great. I'm good at, like, she gets it. She totally gets it. Yeah. No, I love it. I love it. Um, so, what, so, Binge, is it going to be more like business-friendly? Like, what, what niche of content is going to do well with yeah, it's a couple of things. And really, we are great at taking whatever you're doing and amplifying it. So if it is business content, we're going to find that audience for you that's looking for that. What we're what we're helping people do is taking what you have created, whether it's through Be Live or any type of video, and we're putting you into these new eyeballs so that you can monetize what you've already done. Um, we're, you know, if you're selling coaching, great. Use your video content as a platform to do that. If you are just wanting more viewers to your YouTube channel, well, then use us to do that and drive people there. It's really just taking that one thing and repurposing it 50 different ways so that you can get whatever outcome you're trying to achieve. Yeah. And then on the flip side, we do also have premium shows, you know, like you would find on Netflix. There's a great show, Justice Woman. Um, and many, many others. We were actually just in LA. I just flew back this morning um, because one of our shows was nominated for 12 uh, Academy Web TV Awards. That's so awesome. there's, there's wow. things like that um, that are there, but then there's also great you know, information from coaches and consultants and people selling books, I guess you call those authors, um, and other, you know, other type of business strategies. I'll argue this, that not everybody who writes a book is an author, but, but I digress. I'm going to leave that one alone. want to give a big shout out to Ariel Vieira. Uh, he says he loves syndicating my live videos. Ariel, how are you syndicating your live, uh, live videos? Ariel's uh, a live streamer over at the urban is big friend of the show. And we love uh, having him log in. Hey, Ariel. <laughs> my ladies go live is, is, uh, is just a big fan of syndication. So, yeah. Bonnie, walk us through the process. I've got a Facebook Live show. I want to get it off the ground. I'm trying to get some things moving. Um, what's the first step then in syndicating my show? Absolutely. So we make it stupid simple. Um, we basically, you would go to the link, which is bit.ly slash be live TV. Okay. You would register for a channel. And once you have a channel, you literally within a day can have your shows up and running for syndication. What that looks like is you basically put a graphic, um, a banner and a thumbnail, just like you would on Facebook or YouTube. And then you create a bridge from your Facebook, if it is be live, which we hope it is because we're all here. Um, you create a bid, a bridge using repurpose to publish to your binge channel. Now what happens is every single time you do a show, maybe you do shows every single day, you don't have to do anything. It does it automatically and it posts to your binge channel and then gets sent out to all 50 networks. So it's literally something that you set up, we call it kind of set it and forget it, where you can have your shows or your podcast or any content syndicated. Now you can also upload videos directly. So if you're maybe doing Be Live all the time, but then you created this great 
montage or this great trailer or something that you want to post, you simply upload just like you would to Facebook or YouTube. And then again, it gets published out to 50 different media outlets. Okay. So what's the difference? Because I know for me, having another place to upload to is not where I want to spend my time. Right? right. So for my other podcast, the Business of Video podcast, which you can catch Wednesdays at 9 a.m. California time. Uh, on that podcast, we do it on um, uh, a program called Vmix. We stream it onto Facebook and YouTube. Then we the hard recording goes up on iTunes, and we do some editing of of this like some smaller trailer type people. Um, with binge, how would binge fit into that flow? Using Repurposeo? is that what I heard you say? Or or yeah. So what we would do is for your binge channel, we would literally just take the iTunes, it's called an MRSS feed, not to throw crazy terms out there. We would literally just take that link and again, set it up one time so that you never have to look at binge again. We hope you do come back to watch, but you, yeah, yeah. as far as the broadcast, you can literally set it up one time. And then what our software does um, with repurpose, it goes in, takes the audio file, turns it into an MP4, puts a logo and a wave file on it and publishes it to your channel. So it, you literally don't have to do anything after the first time. And then every week or day as you're doing your shows, they're publishing the binge and publishing out to the syndication channels. Hmm. So how, is there, is it kind of like YouTube? Does there like a counter of how many people have seen it? Like how do you monetize it and all that good stuff, I guess. Yeah. So on, yes and no. So on your actual binge channel, we can set up Google tracking so you can see how many people are coming there. But keeping in mind, that's one of 50 places we're sending it. So it's a bit of an octopus at this stage. We're not able to track all 50, um, but you definitely can see the syndication on all of those 50 platforms. And we are working on that. So we're probably six months away from that piece. But you definitely can see how many people are coming to watch you on BingeNetworks.tv. And then as far as monetizing, we have many different ways you can do that. Um, number one, because it is a paid service, you do have to sign up the first time. But then we work with our creators to provide multiple ways. So the first is with sponsors. So if you have a podcast, it's so easy to just write in sponsors. Um, to either have a commercial or to have a graphic for them or this show was brought to you by and then you go back to them and you say hey I'm now on 50 networks um, you know my pricing just went up the second way is through affiliates we have a great affiliate program both from just typical referring people to binge and then also we provide pre-produced commercials um, audio commercials for podcasts that you can use an affiliate link to and earn money that way and then the third way is we just launched our own pay-for-play um, service, which operates just like Netflix. You know, when you go on there and you maybe pay $6.99 or $5.99 or $2.99 to watch a show, um, you can monetize all of your content that way. You can say, hey, it's, you know, $10 a month to listen to my podcast. Amazing. Or it's $2.99 a show, and then you earn 70% of that revenue. I love so that. there's many different ways to monetize. I love that. That's absolutely Huge. Uh, Jason, can you show uh, Ariel Vieira's comment? I want to show you guys what Ariel Vieira had to say. Again, very successful live streamers doing phenomenal work. And he says, I share my shows via Facebook groups that are relevant to the live video I made. You know, NYC, travel, urban planning, history. It's a surefire where to increase viewership. Awesome. All of you guys should carry yeah. up into Facebook groups. That's amazing. <laughs> syndication however with a company like binge network so um i think it was um Chewbacca was asking is that the name yes it's binge networks is the name of the company they'll actually syndicate to 50 different ott and media channels off of facebook so you're yeah. building you're building audience around the world now bonnie can you share with us some of those other networks, what does it look like? I mean, are we going into uh, uh, clay huts uh, in the South American <laughs> or, or where are we going here? We actually are. So we're dealing with, again, the smart TV world, the OTT, the set-top box companies. So the ones people are most familiar with are Apple, Roku, um, Sony, Amazon Fire. Now, just to throw a couple numbers out there, um, because again, you had such a great point, is that we're taking what you're already doing, you're rocking Facebook, but let's just get you into these other networks that have tens of millions, and in some cases, hundreds of millions so of subscribers. So Roku is the number one video consumption in the world. Now think about that. 
Google owns YouTube. So Roku is more popular now for video consumption than YouTube, and they have about 24 million subscribers. That's just one of the networks. Um, there's other places like Kachang Media, which have 100 million subscribers. They're in China. So we may be we may be touching some huts there, we're not sure exactly, but there's 100 million people watching. Um, we're also very strong in Latin America, we're strong in Europe, uh, we work with Fox and Media, we work with these companies that, you know, the Sharps, the LG TV, TiVo, that a lot of people have heard of, and then some that people haven't, like Stemp TV, the Chongs of the world, um, but that are very important because as social media becomes more and more sort of cluttered and you're competing for noise, there's still these outlets that are underpriced right now and the value is tremendous because people are on there. And what's great is we were so early in on the scene. The way that we built Venture Networks is, long story, I was a TV talk show host. No one was watching my cable show because no one watches cable, but I researched where people were watching. Yeah. And so we worked directly with the smart TV apps, built Binge Networks TV. And so there's not a lot of content on there yet. And people, I mean, there's a lot, they're popular, but not like Facebook or YouTube or other places. So people right. are cruising through and they find us and they're like, wow, this is really something. Uh, oh, that is cool. Yeah, guys, that is such a huge deal. In fact, I've got a book uh, up here. Can I just <laughs> don't get that uh, book? But now, while he's doing that, do you guys have any? Yeah, books. yeah. Tell about your background. What is? Hang on, before we get into that, it's called the long tail. Okay, yeah. this and this book is about the long tail model, and 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 syndication is sort of a long tail model, right? Because you're like, oh, I can can I compete on YouTube with, with PewDiePie and Logan Paul and all these these big bikers, right? They, they're they're huge. Or you can get on these 50, 500 smaller networks and getting views there as sort of like the long tail, right? All yes. these lesser known networks. And so it's a very sort of wise place to be. We're going to go to some questions from our audience, Jason. Um, so I've got Jason, by the way, co-hosting. Raise your hand, Jason. Say hi. But we've also hi. got Jason who's producing. My producer, Jax, uh, is in the background producing. So I'm saying the J name Jason too many times. Um, some good questions. First of all, uh, Ariel Vieira was asking, do you syndicate into the Chinese market at all? Yes, we do. Kachang um, Media, that's our largest distributor. They have 100 million subscribers, and it's the largest set-top box manufacturer in China. They also white label other television um, sets that we work there. So we're one of the few companies, as you guys know, there's a lot of censorship in China. Yeah. We're one of the few that got in and were able to work directly with a distributor there. Um, yeah, so that was that's pretty remarkable, and that is by far our biggest um, syndicator. Uh, Shabaka Amen is asking, how many subscribers are on Binge Network currently? So we um, go by views of what we're getting to the Binge Networks. We get about 2 million views per month, and that's um, comprised through the BingeNetworks.tv, the five or six companies that actually do report back data to us. And then we also syndicate on CCTV outlets all throughout the U.S. Awesome. So if you go into like a doctor's, a chiropractor's, a retail outlet, or an airport, you can find Binge Network's content there. So wow. that's what we put. Exciting. Now, as far as the content on there, is it kind of separated like DIY and then, you know, maybe news or like, how does yeah. that work for each of the? Yeah. So we have about 25 or do you know what are we at? 21 different genres that we feature. We got our whole team back here in case there's questions. Um, but we have, yeah, we have number over 20, we'll say genres that we syndicate. Um, we started with lifestyle entrepreneurship and really grew from there. But now we have travel, we have business, we have sales content, um, pets, we have kitty TV because kit cats is the number one video hmm. views on YouTube. Ever. Yeah. Ever, yeah. So interestingly, the reason I was in LA, I had to fly there to film three famous Instagram cats for our movie, um, Parker and Lily. They get 3.5 million views per week on their cat. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, just throwing that in. I think one uh, man come from my wife, you know, like right around 1030. She's like, look at, look at that cat video. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I get in the habit of just pretending to be asleep. Sorry, yeah. man. It's but, pretty exciting. I, I'm not going to lie. Kittens yeah. on the internet, are pre it's pretty exciting stuff. It's like the clown getting kicked, but better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I love it. Uh, we've got some more questions coming in. Graham Hoffman is asking. Now, we already answered this, but I want to just maybe give a quick answer. He's saying, for, for binge networks, do you need specific content or is any type of content viable? It's pretty much any content given the parameter that it has to be valuable. So, so okay. you know, we're not going to put something crazy on there. But as long as you're producing great quality um, content that's valuable to a particular audience, then yes, you can have a channel on binge. So let me ask you this, kind of a piggyback question. What what are your top shows, your top creators on binge networks now? What are What do they look like now? So right now, believe it or not, podcasts are extremely popular. And you would think it's- Video it's, podcasts? Um, actually both. So okay. we have a lot of audio podcasts hmm. and the statistics show that 44% of the population has ever listened to a podcast. Wow. So we're accessing the 56% of digital consumers that aren't already listening on iTunes. Right. That's very popular. Food shows blow doors. Um, we just actually finalized a partnership with Foodie TV to acquire their 50 chef shows, that those are going to be coming on over the next 30 days. And that is the number one um, consumed content right now as far as, you know, what people want to see, how they want to see it. Um, and then also we've got, like, we have a show called After Forever that I was just also in L.A. with the kittens um, because they were winning a bunch of awards at the web and TV awards. And so shows like that that are the more thematic um, yeah. are very popular. We have one called Justice Woman. And then coaching is still very popular. People want to know, like, how, how do I get out of bed? How do I, you know, 10x my revenue? Anything like on that spectrum is really popular. Yeah, yeah. Here's, here's a really good question or a comment from Chris Seward. He's a producer of several daily shows and he wants okay. to know how he can work together. So in another part of that question, what I'm wondering too is like, do you specifically kind of go after someone that has like more of a producer style that has a lot of videos or a lot, like, yes. do you pick and judge to promote which videos as well? Or is there a way to talk directly with you guys to, Absolutely. you know, promote? We have a whole team. I won't like, I won't, oh, around the camera. We've got a whole oh. team here. <laughs> We've got a whole team just standing by on the phones waiting to chat. It's like a telephone now. Um, oh. so, <laughs> no, but yeah, yes, we have a team that is responsible for content development. So we have Daniela is our digital marketing manager. She does all new channels, educates people. We have um, social media promotions that we do every day where we're taking 10 second snippets of each new show and we're promoting them out through our social media. Fun. And then, of course, if it's a really great show, we're going to do as much as possible because it benefits everybody. So, so what defines a really good show? Not at all. You know, just wondering, like, is it do you guys can see the view power or all yes. that of that show? Oh, okay. Awesome. It's that because, again, it's not always what you would think it would be, right? It was, you right. know, it was eye-opening at this award ceremony to see the shows that won. I was like, okay, that's maybe different than I would have thought. So it's popularity and production value. We want. So it's just the audience. Audience is voting basically on their own, right? Is that what kind of happened? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now we're really following that, and we do we promote four shows every week. We have a newsletter that comes out every Tuesday, and we what to binge on, you know, and here's what we think you should binge this week. So we're really about the creator. Um, you know, the story goes, and you guys, like, we can have a whole other show on that. But the story, you know, binge was born out of a problem. Like, why was a cable talk show host with a primetime spot in New York City, the biggest media city? And I wasn't getting bombarded on the subways and the paparazzi was not following me. So we had to find a solution. So we're really pro creator. We really want to get good content out there. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, when were you guys founded? Shabaka Amen is asking, when was the founding of Binge Networks? Okay, firstly, I just have to ask, does everybody that watches your show have an incredible name? Like, this I is know. amazing. I know. Yeah, Mina, Shabaka. This, <laughs> we, we're global, folks. Who else do we I have? I love it. Lara love it. out there. You know, so, on. I love it. It's amazing. So we're four years old. Um, our cable talk show started in New York City four years ago. It was called the Ask Bon Bon Show. And then we produced 700 um, episodes. We had nine spinoff series from that initial show. And we became Bon Bon Networks because we didn't want to lose our brand cred. Oh, yeah. Point. Um, but then we realized we had a bigger play here and we needed to go more mainstream. So about a year ago, the Bon Bon Networks became Binge Networks TV. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's phenomenal. We've got tons of questions coming in. We're going to stay. I want to just kind of hammer through these questions. Um, 
Tina K. Vallant is saying, uh, Bonnie, do you think paid cable TV is dying? I do. So the way that Binge was really born, I was in um, Con France at the market selling our talk show. And I yeah. was in a room with the head of ABC, Disney, same thing, um, Fox, all the top. And they were saying cable is dying. This was three years ago. Nobody knows where it's headed. We all feel it's headed towards smart TV and OTT. And that's really where I got the idea in that room because I was like, uh-oh, you know, this, <laughs> this cable thing is not going to last. And over the last three years, that's proven to be true. I, I don't know the exact statistics, but the OTT, the people they call them cord cutters, um, it's growing exponentially by the day. And I really feel that in a year or two, there won't be the like, hey, at eight o'clock, we're going to watch Grey's Anatomy. It just won't be a thing anymore like we grew up with. Yeah. It will be all on demand when you want to watch it, how you want to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. 100% agree. We cut the cord. How many of you guys have cable and how many of you have no cable? Meaning like I have cable internet, but I don't have any cable TV. I have no like cable box coming in. I am an Apple TV user. So I want to hear in the comment section, how do you guys get TV? Is it cable, Apple TV, Roku, Fire Stick? Let me know in the comment section. Or I another option would be, do you uh, you know, have all these apps and use your family member's password for their cable company? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, do you have a sling, a sling box, which like pulls your grandmother's cable in? <laughs> We've done all of that. You know, when I got married almost 10 years ago, uh, I was already digitally plugged in, and so I, I bought a, a, a Dell that I plugged directly into my smart TV, and we just watched the computer. It was mostly YouTube and Hulu and that sort of thing. Uh, so the smart TV, the OTT thing is huge, and binge networks can get you into that market. So um, Sarah Fosters is asking a question. Graham Hoffman, let's just dig into this. Talk about the service how much it costs, yeah. uh, and bring us into that process a little bit. Absolutely. So if you guys go to bit.ly um, slash TV, you'll see all of the different options there. Um, all of our packages are for a one-year period because that's how the TV world licenses. And yeah. so they range from $14.65, which is just over you know 100 bucks a month, all the way up to 10000 if you want the kit and caboodle. And again, that's for a year. And when you break it down, um, if you're selling courses, you're selling a high volume of content, you're making money off of that. So we're giving you the ability to start your own content, your own Netflix, basically, for lack of a better way to say it. Um, so really looking at you know what you want to do with your content strategy. But again, you can get involved for $14.65, which is you know very, very reasonable. Um, actually, ridiculously reasonable. We didn't know what the other companies were charging, and then we we learned that it can be upwards of like five thousand for Apple, and then five thousand for Roku. Yeah. But we'd already published that graphic, and we didn't want to redo it, so we just left it. But um, kidding, that's funny. So um, so yeah, but check it out. Um, go to the Bitly slash Live TV, and you know you'll you'll see all of the different options, and it's literally so simple. Like you will click on join. Um, you'll immediately get an email from us saying, hey, we need your graphics. And then Daniela will reach out to you within 24 hours. We have a lot of our channels up and running. And it's uh, hmm. crazy. I, I am so excited, guys. And we're getting some great comments coming in here. I'm going to read some of these. Jason, can you go to some of the uh, the colleague Ross Brand says Fios. He says okay. Fios. Let's, let's go right there. I'm going to read through some of these. And here's the, th here's the deal. I want you guys to tag a live streamer. Tag a live streamer that needs to be syndicating their show. I need somebody to 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 tag Jackie Tang right now. Somebody tag Jackie Tang and bring her in. She needs to see this. All right, so tag a live streamer you know. What do we got? Ross Brand is saying Fios. He gets the TV from Fios. I don't even know what that is. That's he Verizon. Yeah, that's okay. Verizon. That's where oh, we started yeah. the cable show. And then it doesn't work so great. Um, okay. But, yeah, it's – that's Verizon. Um, it's a simple. It, that is a very similar service. Well, not to what we do, but that's a way to get uh, this type of content. OTT. Tina K. Vallant is saying um, she says me too. Not uh, cable TV. So she has cable TV too. Uh, DJ Nothing Nice says uh, just cut mine off. I'm streaming Roku. Guys, Car I Roku. Carlos I Zapetta says jailbroken Fire Stick. We know where the LAPD are heading now. They're on their way. 
<laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we, and, and don't worry, Carlos. We won't tell anyone. Yeah, I think Owen's friends with them. No yeah, reason. yeah. Hopefully. But we got 52 <laughs> viewers right now, so we're glad you guys are here. 52 people know. Um, uh, Kalina, another cool name, says, I only use Netflix, Amazon Prime, and whatever's on the internet, the radio, for my news. You know, I listen to the radio a lot, too, believe it or not. I like getting into the car just hearing what's like, what's what's there. Uh, what else? Clara saying, uh, DirecTV, but Roku. So DirecTV is kind of like cable. Uh, and we've got some some great stuff over there. So it's very interesting, guys, where we're getting our TV from. And we've got some great tips coming in from our guest, Bonnie Bruderer. Um, Apostle Tamar McIver is saying, can you give us an example of how to make a virtual coaching business successful using this particular technology? Absolutely. And again, another great name. Sheesh. Um, so the, the easiest way is to publish some what we would call free content. So you would publish some maybe one to two minute video tips on questions, challenges, pain points that people have. Then there's two ways. Number one, you can continue to produce that kind of content with a slide at the end, a call to action that says, hey, book a free complimentary session, um, go here and send yeah. them to your website. So you're using us as really your advertising vehicle. Yeah. The second way is to put up a paywall. And what that looks like is you can have some really great content um, and then you can have some videos that you would click on it and a trailer would play about you know like your biggest wound or pain point and why you need to change it in your life. And then a window pops up and says to access this premium content, it's $10.99 a month, or it is you know, $2.99 per video. And then you have a private area where only those people get that content. So there's really two ways, and you can do both. There's no reason why you have to pick or choose. You can do both, but that's the best way to monetize. Now, is that private area on your, like, are it you is. hosting videos as well? We don't have to have links. You're yeah, hosting no. everything. Okay. No, we do everything for you. And then you earn 70% of that revenue. So if you nice. have, say you have a movie and you charge $20, oh, God, mm -hmm. my math is so bad. I think that we just take $6 and you get the rest. Right. But yeah. So you get the 70% um, of everything. Very we nice. get everything for you. You just send us a spreadsheet saying, I want to charge this for this, this for this. And then mm -hmm. Daniela takes care of everything. Okay. So, so Perfect. first of all, first of all, huge Air 5. For Bonnie for being able to determine 70% of 20. I probably would have immediately said something like 10. Oh, so it's like 70, 30. You get like 10 bucks. Um, not, not my skill set, folks. I'm like a looker. I'm a looker. I haven't had too many problems in my life. You know, I get dinners bought for me and stuff. Uh, Uber rides paid for. The actual the underneath the Owen shirt, it actually says fear math. We just can't see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, never mind. Um, okay, so that answers Scott Li uh, Scott Liberto's question, who says, "How do you get paid with the affiliate program? You sell premium con. You can have like premium content, you can have free content, and you get seventy percent, which is a great uh, uh, a great break there, a great uh, split." And Stefan says, "Do you take French content, all français?" We do. We have a couple of French influencers. Uh, we actually have influencers from all over the world that have channels on Binge. We have some from Portugal, France. Uh, we have no idea what their content says here at the office, but it looks really great and people love it. Um, and we do have distribution points in all of those foreign markets. So obviously they're enjoying it a little bit more than we are, but we love it. Okay, so... We've got a question coming in saying, where are the packages? She's on the website now. She's saying, where are the packages on the website? Oh, I don't sure. Know. So if you're on uh, the bit.ly, then just click on join now. Don't worry. Nothing will happen except for the packages will pop up. If okay. you're on bingenetworks.tv, just click on apply and it will walk you through. You have to jump through a couple of hoops. Like we, you know, we want to make sure you really want it. So yeah, you yeah, yeah. Hit enter, enter your email, boom, and then join and the packages will pop up. Yeah, absolutely. And if you guys have questions uh, for our guests today, be sure to ask them in the comment area and we'll do our best to get to them. Uh, we we're talking behind off stage a little bit about like a success story, right? It's one thing to say, hey, we promise that your show will be put on, you know, 2,000, 4,000, 8 million screens. And you're going, yeah, I'm getting seen. But what about real world examples of success? Can you can you share with us? Uh, somebody maybe even in the business world who who is 
using your service and actually acquiring clients or, or, or some type of result from it? Definitely. So we have a show called Top Docs. It is a chiropractor from Kansas City, Missouri, and he um, does interviews with different health experts. And he interviewed, I believe it was a nutritionist, and somebody in South Africa on one of those affiliate networks saw his show, and it was on autoimmune disorder, and she wasn't having success where she was. And so she flew from South Africa to Kansas City. Can you imagine getting off that plane? Oh <laughs> where am I? But she hmm. paid $10,000 as a retainer to work with him. And wow you know, had great wow. success. Um, we also have a professional organizer, Summer Rose, who owns Star Organizers. And when she did a segment, she was a um, marketing assistant at an app company and, you know, doing her dream, kind of moonlighting with the organizing. And we tweeted something out because we do, we are constantly circulating on social media. And she was picked up by USA Today the next day. And so wow. now she just does that. Um, yeah, we have tons of people. We have people that have been picked up by major er networks. So like we have somebody, we used to have a show called Seal the Deal and she's a CNBC correspondent now. Um, we have, so a lot of things and, and then a lot of just feedback of where people see the shows. We have a show called, um, Saber, which is a French chef, um, out of, uh, the Keys, the Florida Keys. And somebody in California saw her show at a nail salon, like from 30 years ago, it was her husband's college roommate or something and said, Oh my God, I'm in a nail salon and I'm watching your show. So mm. even if somebody didn't get that quantifiable purchase, we know that people are watching these shows in all kinds of places. That, that is so exciting folks. And we're, we're not in a place where we bring guests on to sell you stuff. Uh, but I am majorly being sold on, okay. on the program this for, and it's only, it's less than $15. So for most of you out there, it's worth trying out for a month, you know? Uh, and just seeing if you like it, seeing if this is something that shows promise. I'm not saying you're going to get a result in a month, but but at 15 bucks, it might make sense to just kind of add it to your monthly expenditures and and sort of looking at it and seeing if it's something you want to do. Now, Sarah Sarah Foster's is asking, um, how much do they charge? I have a 24 seven live kitten cam, so I think what she's asking is how much do these cat channels charge uh, yeah. for Okay, so just to clarify, though, it's fourteen sixty five a year, so it's about. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Yeah, thank no, no, no. just want to make, just to make sure we're on the same. So about a hundred, little over a hundred a month. Our Got it. Not so good. Um, for the kitten cam, definitely contact me right after the show because we want to talk to you. But the same packages apply. Uh, we just have a, a need for kitten content right now, so um, we may be able to work something out. So, Attention, yeah, so all cat lovers. Attention, cat lovers. Dog lovers, um, anything with paws, if you're watching, please contact us. That's amazing. And yeah. clowns that like to be kicked. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're kind of, yeah, we're, we're loving the clown, but we prefer kittens. Yeah, yeah. If there was a hierarchy, if I had to weigh them, if I had to weigh them, uh, Graham Hoffman asking a great question here. How automated can this be? To go from Facebook Live to binge, walk us through those steps. Because yeah. Facebook Live is not not an RSS, right? You'd have to download no. and re-upload. So talk about that. No, the interesting thing again. Thank you to Hani Mora, who um, you guys know, and he is the creator of Repurpose. He created a third-party software, and I believe it's anywhere from twelve to twenty dollars a month. Um, you can basically take what he created and marry your Facebook live feed to your binge channel. So you can automate it. It takes, you know, maybe 20 minutes the first time you do it, and then you never have to do it again. So every time you're doing a be live, it's behind the scenes, grabbing it, posting it, converting it to the format it needs for all the TV um, networks, and then publishing it out. So, you, you know, we want to make it easy. We want you to be able to go on with your day because I have spent myself hundreds of hours with the upload, the download, oh, this to the, oh, the audio... Mm. So we don't want any of that. So we make it yeah. yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Just as a note of interest, it only took me 20 minutes the first time I did it. So, <laughs> so say, say, say you have a creator, someone like I appreciate oh. you, Bonnie. I appreciate you. You get. I was waiting for Jason to laugh. I I'm too focused on my next question, Owen. I'm really just no. I, yeah, there so, was a moment there. We shared a moment. I, I well, I, I let her have it. Uh, no, so say you're a creator like Owen. And you know, you sign up for this and you're just really obsessed with watching yourself live. Where would yeah. someone like Owen go and find like your syndications? Like how would he come across his own 
stuff without looking, but look. Great looking. question. Yeah, it's so a good question. The first point would be, well, number one, binge networks.tv. You can find all of the over 200 shows we have there. You will also get your own unique URL. So if you didn't want to be bothered with the others, we can just, you know, bookmark that on your set. For everything else, for the, um, you can go on your iPhone or your Android and go to the respective app store and type in binge networks, two words. Uh, we have great placement. We're next to Oprah in the app store. We're actually in front of her. Um, yes. So, so you can find it there. And then on your Apple TV or Roku box, same thing. Just type in binge networks. And then it works the same with every smart TV, the 46 other distributors. Um, you just go to their app store. We're built into every smart TV after 2014. So it's already there waiting for you. You just need to turn on that TV, binge networks, and you're good to go. There's kittens, clowns, everything waiting for you. Oh, my gosh. I, hold I me can't back. wait for the clowns. <laughs> hold, me, hold me back. Okay, so I've got questions here, but I'm also aching. I want to ask the question about trackable views, right? Yes. What about the dashboard? How can I log in and see who has seen me when? Um, yes. uh, how about that? So we are providing data on the binge networks TV channel that you're having. The reason that I'm going to preface it this way, it's right now technically impossible to track all 50. And the reason yeah. is because the OTT industry is just behind the times, um, yeah. as far as how they're reporting. So we get data back from about six of our, our distributors and we can give you that data. Um, it's getting better each month. It gets better and better. So I imagine within six months that we'll all be married and good to go. Um, but right now we're only tracking certain networks and we just want to be clear about that up front. We're, yeah. you know, our value is in getting you everywhere. Not exactly every single viewer. Got it. Got it. So there, there are sites that are trackable though. So we will be able to see a yeah. log in and kind of see what happens. So, what, what type of, of like call to actions, like for this doctor, is he calling his people to action and saying, hey, uh, get a retainer with me, uh, uh, you know, or does he do that in every episode? Just kind of say, you can work with me no matter where you are kind of thing. Or is, it, is he just there? Is he just there? And you know, that's a great question. So he was one of our earlier shows, like way back in the day. He was like yeah. year two that came on. Um, he is more just providing value. And you know, okay. if we've got anyone that's had a health challenge, you know how terrible that is, or a family member. So you're gonna seek that person out. You're gonna do yeah. whatever you can. Now we really educate our content creators more on the strong call to action and what to do next. Um, you can even have links on your channel that you know, if there's an about section and you can say, follow me on Facebook, find me here, free uh, 30 minute session here. So we want to make it easy for people, but um, you know, back in that day, we were just producing content. So yeah. we never Amazing. expected to be where we are today. Amazing. A good question from Desiree Martinez. Is there a way to pay monthly instead of paying yearly? You know, we don't have that anymore just because of the way the licensing, we used to do it monthly, um, right. but just the way the licensing works, it has to be done on a yearly contract. However, we do provide financing. So we can give you six months of 0% interest. So, oh, so wow. yes. Yeah. You know, and the reason that is, guys, is because Binge has to pay an annual. They don't get to pay monthly for the licensing, right? Yeah. So they've got to pay for it all up front, and that's why you know they don't want to get stuck. You know, oh, sorry, Binge, like uh, my horse died, and I gotta, yeah, I can't pay you anymore. It's like they've already paid for a year uh, of doing that. And if you think about it, the fifteen hundred, uh, I mean, you're gonna spend that in three months on Facebook ads, just losing money on Facebook ads, right? If yes. you're you know, unless you're a pro at it, and you're, you're, you know how to scale those ads. So it's an investment, but it's an investment, I think, in the right direction because the eyeball situation is a big one. If you have, how many of you guys rate your own show on a scale of one to 10, right? Rate your own show in the comment section. So your show, is it a, a one? Is it a, a, a 10? Because I think a lot of you have amazing shows but people just aren't seeing them, right? They're, you're just not getting that exposure. So getting this exposure through a syndication is uh, is a great annual test, I think, for me to look at. Clara Alden is saying, when you join, uh, when you join Binge, I think as a as a user, are you automatically? It's, she says, when you join Binge, are you automatically on all Binge channels, or are they grouped by price? I, I may maybe I'm yes. not understanding the question no 
I get it. Great question. Yes, you are on all 50. So any package you choose includes all 50. The difference with the other packages are, number one, the pay-per-view service, if you want that. And then number two, we had a lot of clients asking for additional promotions. So we built out packages that include SEO, that include paid Instagram ads, um, in some wow. cases trailers to your, you know, we'll produce a trailer to your show. So there's different components there, but all packages have all 50 distribution points. Yeah, let me tell you, when I first started making videos, I was making videos for the faith community. Uh, these are called sermon illustrations. So a pastor will talk about uh, stealing. Uh, we would make a funny skit about stealing, right? And they might buy it. We used a company like Binge Networks at the time. It was a very similar type of, uh, uh, of program. Uh, we made a ton of money on our paid stuff there, guys. We made a ton of money. On it. Uh, you know, business partners kind of didn't get it. But they're both YouTube creators to this day, uh, still working in the same space. These types of networks are great ways to get discovered and get national, uh, you know, international sort of distribution and eyeballs on your, on your stuff. Dan Norton is saying, um, I want to see Alfredo interviewing a cat clown. I mean, that sounds epic. That sounds really that good. Sounds good idea, good. Dan. Alfredo's been sort of like, he's been sort of taking a rest lately. He's, he's exhausted. It's exhausting out here. Um, so here's a great question and maybe we can wrap up with this. Holly Jackson is saying, I'm worried to go, um, I'm worried to go on to another network because I don't want to take bandwidth or attention away from the Facebook live stuff that I'm doing. Uh, Bonnie, what would you say to someone like Holly who, who feels like dis uh, syndicating her message would be, um, watering down her message? Yeah, I would say don't change a thing. Like don't don't change anything that you're doing with your Facebook community. If it's working fabulous, keep it up. What they don't even need to know, like that particular audience that you're pushing out to all these different outlets. Yeah, good However, call. What that will do is bring in those other people that don't know you yet. And you can even right. use binge to drive them to your Facebook parties. That's we're an amplifier. Whatever you're doing, whatever you want to do, just use us. It, it's really an advertising vehicle, but using your an amazing video content as the advertisement. Hmm. Amazing. I dig it. Uh, uh, yeah, I've totally, I totally dig it. Uh, and I want to encourage all of you guys to go to Binge Networks. I want to encourage you to go to your Apple TV, go to your Roku, go to your Fire Stick. Carlos, go to your uh, jailbroken Fire Stick. Uh, <laughs> and if it still works. Carlos uh, is in prison, Owen. I just got a, on my responder here. You just got the yeah, Carlos. Uh, no, yeah, well, I, you tried. You know, tried. You you tried, man. Uh, you know, uh, Trump's not messing around when it comes to uh, fire sticks. Uh, go to the net. Check out Binge Network. Take a look at what's there because I really believe this is going to be the future of online TV. Is going to be these 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 networks that people are going to to get away from Facebook, to get away from YouTube. Like, well, I've seen the clown so many times now. Let's go to Binge and see what's on Binge. Uh, one more time before you go, Bonnie, how do we, how do we go to binge and, and look at the, uh, look at getting an account and starting up there? Absolutely. So bit.ly slash be live TV, that will yeah. take you to the page to apply for a channel. And if you want to visit our network, it's binge networks.tv. Amazing. Bonnie, great to have you on the show. I hope that uh, you'll stay in touch and, and, uh, maybe do another interview with us in the future. Oh my gosh. I would love to. And I will see you later this week at, um, I'll see you in Texas. Video marketing world. That's right. I can't wait to see you. Remember, you got to come find me. I'm going to be on stage. So please come find me. Hold <laughs> me as I be like, hey, I'm Bonnie. It will be great to catch up with you there. Awesome. Bye, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks, Bonnie. Take care. Jason, I don't know about you. I have an alarm. That's about me. I Well, you should have made it part of the show. You should have been I, like, I, oh, and my, my amazing guest alarm uh, was yeah. Hey, we had a great show today. We got up to 50 Absolutely. live viewers, 52 live viewers. So I want to thank you guys that are watching with us right now. It's your watch time. It's your comments. Uh, it's your engagement that helps get this show out into the newsfeed. And we saw a really neat moment there in the middle of the show where the algorithm was just bringing people into our show. So I can't wait to go into the analytics and find out why that happened and share it with you so that you can duplicate the same thing. Yeah, was, dude, oh, and it was a binge in show. It was a binge in show. There's a merch Thanks. thing for you. Thanks. Thanks. Well, 
Uh, we had a great show. Jason and I and Bonnie, we're all going to be in Texas later this week for Video Marketing World. Riding so horses. We're going to see you there. It's going to be a great time. Jason, great to see you here today. You too, Owen. We'll see you next week, guys. Be Live Weekly. Thank you for watching Be Live Weekly with Owen Video. If you enjoyed the show, share this video on your timeline right now. Just do it. To see past episodes or get alerts for new episodes, type five in the comment section now. Enjoy us next week with new tips to help you grow your Facebook Live show.